Hey Virgos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your weekly love reading from <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> from May 6th to the 12th. Your first card out is the Ten of Wands here. So I'm doing your guys' weekly readings a little bit different. Five of Wands is your next card out. Um, I'm just getting the uh, situation between the two of you, an outcome card, shared energy, and then I'll clarify with two different decks for you and the person you're dealing with. One more card of the situation. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius or any fire sign, but in Sagittarius's uh, weekly reading, they had both these cards as well, but they were in the reverse, in their shared energy between the two of you. All right. You also have the Knight of Cups and the Star for your situation, or for your uh, outcome, I mean. Your bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. All right. So you guys um, are dealing with some big changes here. You have three fives on the table. So uh, big changes this week. Let me tip you down here so you can see your cards here. All right. So, yeah, you have the five of wands, the five of cups, and the five of swords. The only thing you didn't have is the five of pentacles, and that showed up three times in Sagittarius's reading. So, you're connected to that in any way. But um, the five of swords, either you or the person you're dealing with is walking away from a situation where nobody is coming out the victor. You may feel like you have won, but there is no winner in this situation because there's a lot of sadness and a lot of heartache um, due to all this conflict, due to all this, uh, you know, these arguments. Um, but you're just, you're allowing yourself to stay in these thoughts that um, are reliving this, this heartache. Um, we will get clarifiers on it so we know exactly whose cards those are. But we will start with you, uh, Virgos. Let's see. Why is the Five of Wands here? And the Knight of Cups. Whoa. And the Star. All right, there's your five of pentacles at the bottom of your deck. So there it is. All right, so you have all all fives out. So big, big change for you, Virgos. You're you're about ready to forge a new path. Um, from your side of things, uh, you have a lot of confusion. So you're just kind of pushing everybody away, not wanting to uh, deal with the illusions, the delusions. Um, you could be uh, you could have a lot of options in your way and you're just kind of brutal about, um, about letting people know that, but you are walking away from a situation and walking into a relationship that is your life partner. That is who you're meant to be with the first and seven house, um, of the zone or of your, uh, birth chart. So, um, you're just walking away from a situation where you don't feel like you can be yourself. You know that where you're at is not where you're meant to be. Um, and there's a lot of confusion on how to walk away with doing the least amount of damage. Um, you are you are sad about leaving this relationship. You are sad about the ending of this relationship. You could have children with these with this person, could have two children with this person. But you're worried about raising your children from a distance. You're worried about not being in the same home as your children or your children being with you but away from their other parent. There's a lot of sadness here. But you know that the sadness that is going on within the home is not healthy either. For some of you, you're sad because you are um, in separation from a person you feel is a past life soulmate. Uh, this is a past life soulmate for this group of you. So there is a lot of sadness going on around the whole situation. Um, clarifying the eight of swords, you're finally um, letting your feelings be felt. 
you were trapped, you were stuck in this situation because you weren't allowing yourself to feel what you really felt. You could have been numbing your um, feelings. You could have been, um, you know, using alcohol or drugs or something to numb these feelings. So you didn't have to think about being stuck. Um, when you finally took that guard down, when you finally let your feelings be felt, you're going to realize that you're not stuck and you are starting to do that. You're going to let your guard down with somebody in your, in your space. So with the wheel of fortune here, the ups and downs, it's the wheel of karma. You have to release this burden. You have to let go of the weight that you're carrying on your shoulders. It's not your weight to bear. Um, you do have good fortune coming in, but not until you release this situation or job or whatever it is that's weighing you down. There's some situation that you can't escape until you release the responsibility, until you release the thought that this is all yours to take. Um, there are good things coming in, the ups and downs of life. The wheel is turning in your favor. Um, you could be moving towards, uh, uh, what is it? Sagittarius with the wheel there, but, um, just letting, letting that burden be set down. You're, I wouldn't be surprised if the tower came out somewhere in here, but, um, the energy in your vibe this week, Virgos is taking that burden, laying it down at the tower so you can bring new blessings in. So the wheel can naturally turn because we know we can't stop the wheel. It's like time. Nobody can stop it. It's going to come one way or another. Um, so it's going to bring you in those blessings when that burden is laid down. You've had a lot of inner conflict about this. You've had a lot of issues um, where you're not sure what to do. Uh, there could be a lot of conflicts at home. There could have been, be a lot of conflicts behind closed doors with somebody that you're currently with, um, over somebody that you have children with, um, about a mistress. There could have been a third party here, but you're just not emotionally in the relationship that you're currently in. The, the emotions have run dry. There could be a little bit of emotional manipulation here, but this is the relationship coming to an end. There's just way too much conflict, way too much fighting. Um, like I said, it could have been conflict over a third party, but um, you've had a lot of inner conflict as well about leaving the mother of your children or you are the mother of your children and you don't love the other person the way you used to. There's a lot of inner conflict about what to do about this. I'm not in love. I want to be in love. I don't know what to do, but I don't want to leave my children, but I don't, you've had a lot of inner conflict Virgos, but, um, that's going to, uh, that's going to come to an end very soon. Uh, you are going to move forward, offering your cup to somebody you are going to reach out or they are reaching out to you. This is your energy though. So I do feel that, um, you will be making an offer, um, after you get out of this thoughts that you're stuck there. You need to quit cheating your own future. You need to quit cheating yourself out of happiness, cheating yourself out of being in a relationship where you're going to have this love and this love is going to be given back to you. You are going to realize that you have been missing out and that is going to help you escape from these constant thoughts and worries and wonder about what you should do, ultimately bringing you in good things. Your outcome is healing. So you are going to find the way out of this situation. The stars are aligning and destiny is going to step in. Um, you do have the alchemist, which is amazing. You're manifesting this new relationship. Your thoughts are becoming reality. Um, you're you're going to take the tools that you need and move forward. Um, the universe will be at your back helping you, however, but you and your person that you are have in your mind who you want to be with is going to come back into your life, whether you reach out to them offering you or you get an offer from them one way or another, you're going to move into this beautiful um, manifested situation, but healing must take place first and you have to lay down the responsibility and burden that you have been carrying for a long time, Virgos. All right. We will pull your cards from the other person's perspective. Um, so let's see why the Ten of Wands is here for the Cross Watcher of Virgo. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Virgo's Cross Watcher? And the Five of Wands in reverse. Or why the why is the Five of Wands here? There's that that fourth 
uh, oh my goodness, look at all these fives, guys. Big changes, huge changes for you guys. Why is the Knight of Cups here? I don't think I've ever had a reading like that. That that's been the case like that. All these that's six fives on the table. All right. Why is the star here? Thank you. All right. Bottom of the deck. The Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. All right. So this person at a distance is coming towards you, uh, Virgos. So they are working hard on laying down the burden of you or of you. They are working hard of laying down the burden of being left in the dark. They have a lot of uh, feelings and thoughts about the way things ended in the past. They have to let that go. They are doing that. However, they're no longer being so cold. They are going to warm up to the thought of um, the situation. Um, they are releasing. This is the end of a cycle for them. They are releasing the pain that came with being left in the dark, that came with being ghosted, that came with being abandoned. Um, they are letting that go um, because they're no longer letting that affect them. They're no longer letting the weight of that um, be who, what describes the two of you. Um, they have the five of wands as well. A lot of conflict. Um, they've released, they've released any conflict. They have walked away before any more hurt can be done. Um, they have moved forward. They have moved away from this. They didn't want to be one of how many in your life. They wanted to be the one and only one. And when they were ghosted and left in the dark, they somehow found a way to cut themselves away from this situation and, um, and was able to move forward from there, um, moving on and releasing that, that heaviness of this 10 of wands. So we have the Knight of cups next for them. Uh, they, they are coming towards you. They want, this is you Virgo. Um, they are coming in your direction. They have unconditional love for you. Um, this is an amazing connection. They view you as somebody who is very important in their life. Um, you could be making them a love offer, Virgo, or they could be making you one. This could be them receiving this cup of love from you, the earth sign, or vice versa. But either way, this is an amazing combination. This is stability. This is love. This is moving forward and letting your heart's desire lead the way for both of you. Um, in the out or in the outcome. They have found healing from this six of cups situation. They know you're their past life soulmate. They know the two of you belong together. They know that children were involved in this. They know and understand. They also have healed and just keep the good memories in, in the front of their mind. Um, once again, this is when these two cards come together for me, this means the stars are lining and a uh, past life soulmate union is coming back together. Um, finding the healing, finding the power and source to move forward um, and allow that love to just grow and blossom from here on out. In their shared energy, they have the five of swords. So with them walking away in the past after you possibly ghosted them, Virgo, or vice versa, um, they know that you're you're the gift. They know how abundant the two of you can be together. Um, so they're waiting for you to come back and approach them. Um, they have, they have gotten over this time of mourning. They're no longer fighting for this connection. They've given up on it. Um, possibly took a long time for you to get this far Virgo and they were, they have let this all go. They have healed and moved forward and, um, no longer allowing the battle of this connection to, uh, over or to consume them. They were trapped at one point in time by their thoughts of love for you. They thought they couldn't go on without you. They thought they couldn't be without you. Um, but they released that. They're no longer feeling stuck by their love. They're no longer feeling stuck with the need of having you here. That's why they have fully healed. That's why they're ready for you to come forward and make this love offer Virgo. That's why they will accept this when you come back because they're not living in this energy anymore. They're not mad about this energy anymore. They have released this. They're both in reverse. Um, and they chose not to be a part of the competition. They laid that burden down and they're waiting for you now to allow everything to be settled in your life, 
to, um, to get things in order so you can make this um, love offer and have this new beginning. This was also the very first card out in Sagittarius's um, energy and it is in their clarifiers. So if you um, are connected to a Sagittarius, most definitely the two of you could be getting back together this next week. Um, very beautiful union coming from this group of you. Can I get one card for Virgo, please? Yeah, you just, um, lots and lots and lots of changes, Virgo, because um, you have so many fives on the table. Fives are change, huge changes, um, big changes. You are in separation from a past life soulmate. Uh, time apart was needed in order for the two of you to heal on different paths of healing. But I do see for this group of you, Virgos, you will be making a move to um, attempt to reunite with this person in the next week, reaching out to them, um, offering this cup uh, because the universe is moving, is shifting, the energy is shifting. We are in a new moon today. So a lot of energy shifts, a lot. I'm getting a lot of downloads, um, big relationships coming into union this next week, Virgo. So you could possibly be one of those if you are in this situation. Um, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. God bless.